Bring it in, pimps and players. It's Bro Fresco here, back with another episode of the LOL News, the League of Legends News. And in today's episode, we have got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about. So obviously, the big thing, the elefante in the room, the preseason seven, which came out last week. I'm not going to be covering that because I've made like 15 videos on that shit, right? So I've already made videos on a lot of the big things. And today's episode of the LOL News is going to be more like a roundup, getting all the little things that slip through the cracks, craps, the cracks, and being like, hey, bitch, I see you. You see those new summon icons? Yeah, you didn't know about them. I see you. You see that new summoner border thing? I got you, bro. So that's what we're doing. We're kind of rounding it up and making sure you have all the information about the preseason seven. Practically a combination of all the little things that I may not have made a full video of. So before we get into it, I would ask you to smack the like button, but then I might get some mean comments about it because a lot of people have been in the comments saying, bro, Fresco, why do you ask for likes every video? And do you want to know why? You want to know why? Number one, it makes me feel amazing. Like, getting a lot of likes makes me feel amazing. Number two, it's like a challenge for the pimps. I like, it stimulates the community. It's like, let's get 10,000 together. Because I can't do it by myself. It, it relies on the community and us doing it together. So it's a good community thing. And the third reason, and probably the most freaking important reason, is because it helps out the channel. It, it just does. It helps out my YouTube channel. To, like, grow, get bigger, be more, like, positive shit. A lot of things. So that's why I ask for likes in every video, which I know some people don't, some people do even more than me, so I don't know man, just I, I, I feel like for the 10 seconds in every video where I'm like, drop a like, I don't know, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to address that because I saw a lot of people in the comments, not really, just a few people in the comments complaining and, you know, I mean, that's life, but I wanted to, I thought it was fair, only fair that I let you know, that's why YouTubers ask for likes, there's a lot of good reasons, and there's nothing bad about it, it takes two seconds to like the video, it's free, the video's free, it's the least you can do, right? So with that all being said, can we please smash 10,000 likes on this video, hey, thank you Vince, no, thank you, honestly, for all the likes, thank you. So the first thing in the news today, we're going to take it way back, way back, back play our dubs back, intro back, music. Back, back, back. We're going to start off with the pre-season 7 patch. So today is the 24th of October and the patch came out on the 18th. It's been six days already, life goes so fast. And on that big patch, that's when the Assassin reworks came out. I did gameplays on all of those. That's when the skins came out, nine new skins. I did videos on all of those, but there are a few other things that came out in that big patch that I didn't show you and a lot of other YouTubers probably missed as well because these were the smaller things. So first things first, Battle Regalia Poppy Chromas. Poppy got some Chromas for a Battle Regalia skin. No one cares, but yeah, there's that. Big, I mean, everyone's going to be playing Star Guardian Poppy now, so once again, I don't think you care. Number two, Dragon Slayer Brom did get six Chromas and they look fucking awesome. So Dragon Slayer Brom is legit and I will be picking up those chromas 100%. Now a big thing that I was actually surprised that I missed, oh bro Fresco, you never miss anything, I miss everything, but I, I was surprised that I missed this, it's the 2006, 2006, 2000, God! It's the 2016 Ranked Reward Summoner Icons. So as you can see here, we've got the Bronze, Silver, Gold, Plat, Diamond, Delo, Master, Challenger. Why am I saying that? You, you already know that. But anyway, it's the different tiers and the rewards that you get for either getting that ELO in Solo queue slash Dynamic queue. 3v3 ranked team or 5v5 ranked team. That's why there's three different icons for each ELO because it signifies what e what Q you got it in because let let's be fucking honest here. If you're if you're gold in the 3v3 team, it's not exactly the same as being gold in dynamic Q or in rank 5v5s. We all know those 3v3 team challenges out there. We see, we see. You're still you're still really good, okay? You're still I actually back in season five, maybe yeah, back in season five last year, I got invited by some Challenger 3v3 team. They were like, hey bro, Fresco, want to join our 3v3 team? We'll, we'll fucking boost you to Challenger in 3v3s. I was like, thank you guys! But no one's ever ever gonna believe that. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. So shouts out to those guys, they were really nice. And the reason, by the way, why there are so many different icons for Challenger is because Challenger's a bit more specific and I believe it's like top 10 of Challenger, top 50 of Challenger, and then the rest of Challenger. It's like the top 10 in Challenger get like these extra special icons. Or something. Also got a new ward skin, the Ranked Season Rewards. There it is. I, I just hate ward skins. The boys in the game in house are all queuing Ranked 5s, Team Ranked 5s, so they get the ward skin. I th 
Why? Why? Maybe if I warded a bit more, I would appreciate it. But yeah, there's a ward skin too. So that's it from the Big Priest Season 7 patch, the initial patch that we missed. Now, a few days later on the 21st, this patch came out and it gave us a nice little update, the Stealth Shimmer. Now, I think Stealth Shimmer is amazing. And no, it's not the shimmer that you put on your eyes when you do makeup. I, I've, I've watched too many makeup videos. Having a girlfriend is not fun all the time. Stealth Shimmer is when you hit a champion who is either camouflaged or invisible. Remember those new changes to Stealth, where Stealth means nobody can see you and is really short term. Camouflage is when they can see you if you get close. Camouflage is like Twitch and Evelyn, for example. Stealth is like uh, Kha'Zix one second stealth on his ultimate. So that's the difference. But th doesn't matter if you're invisible or stealth, if you get hit while you are stealth, you shimmer. And I think this is fucking awesome. Like, excuse my French, but that is just really, really good for counterplay, for just game mechanics. I love that. I think that's amazing. Even as somebody who plays a lot of invisible champions, I think that's awesome. Because it doesn't 100% give you away. You're still invisible, but you're just that, oh, that, that's so, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. And the animation is... Beautiful. By the way, I said in a video last week, I was like, hmm, maybe I should buy a bell for the Bell Bros. So bring it in, Bell Bros! It's way too fucking loud. I, I, I just gotta shake it like this. Bring it in, Bell Bros! So yeah, Bell Bros, where you at? First 10 Bell Bros to comment below, I will respond to. I really hope I remember. Also, in case you didn't see it in some of the more recent gameplays, we got updated icons for new items the control ward the knight's vow and redemption so i did a video showing them off and they didn't have their right icons they all look different they were placeholders well now we got the three actual icons fuck what do you call it pictures icons icons i guess and they look sick they really do look sick redemption looks freaking nice control ward's pretty dope and knight's vow i really like that one but redemption looks awesome and i love the item redemption by the way did a video talking about the five new items coming to league of legends in season seven in the preseason go check out that video too because there's some really cute cool new items redemption you can use it while you're dead while you're dead bro there were some balance changes too in this patch the recent patch from only like two or three days ago most of them I was gonna say mainly, then I said most, and I was like, most of them, most of them were targeted at Fizz. Now, I haven't done a video on the Fizz rework yet, but now it's even more juicier, so I'll, I'll get that top on the list, and I'll do that, and I won't bother telling you about the changes, because you haven't even seen what's changed with Fizz yet, and it'll just confuse you, and I need, why am I, why am I even putting this in the video? It's just gonna confuse everyone! But now that you're probably sitting in the comment section flaming me for putting that in the video, oh, bro, Fresco, why'd you put it in the video if you ain't even gonna show something that you're probably even more mad at than me? Me is plants. Yes, a lot of people are just so mad at plants. Now, I first came out, I was like, plants are pretty cool, man. Plants give us oxygen, you know, they keep the world going, dabbing. But a lot of people, especially the pros, are so mad at plants. They're like, it's just random, it's just bullshit, there's no skill. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I love, random, no skill. This sounds like a perfect description of me and my League of Legends gameplay. So a lot of people are mad at plants. I wanted to take this time to quickly show you that there is a massive article written by Riot Games themselves explaining exactly what plants do, where they spawn, how they spawn, what they're made to do, the changes they're making and everything. So if you are mad at plants, don't just be mad and comment on every thread and forum saying, oh yeah, plants suck. Take the time, read this article, and then if you still think plants suck, comment on this article, because this is where Riot is gonna look at your feedback and read. On their official boards, on their official post, they're looking for your feedback, so if you are mad at plants, check out that one. I personally, I still fucking love plants. Just a quick TLDR, the honey fruit which heals you only spawns in the river, the ones that give you vision only spawn very close to the river, but the blast cone spawns everywhere else. And then moving on, in less PBE news and more real life live servers news, the fucking Teemo Wing is here, bro! And that means Halloween. So Doombots, the game mode is now activated. If you want to know how to win Doombots, don't watch my videos. I lost every single Doombots game, even on easy mode. I'm going to be making a guide on how to beat level 100 Doombots, though, as soon as, like, I get over this PBE mess. Like, there's so many videos I want to make right now. Level 100 Doombots, AP Misfortune, but there's so much PBE shit. There's just too many videos to make. But yeah, Doombots are out. Not only are Doombots out, there's the three new skins. Little Devil Teemo, Bewitching Tristana, Bewitching Morgana. There's also, like, six new summoner icons that you can get. A bunch of them are to do with uh, Halloween activities and probably, like, gifting in Halloween stuff. Stuff like that but the best part not only are the new skins out 
The old skins are back, baby. The legacy skins are back and on sale, which means you can pick up all the Halloween skins from forever. And most importantly, Headmistress Fiora, who is apparently for some reason a Halloween skin, but is practically Fiora dressed as a teacher slash secretary. And whew, I know you love that skin. She, she spanks the enemy with a ruler. Who hasn't fantasized about that? Let's, but as I get a bit off track here, I'm going to segment into our sponsor of the day. And the sponsor of League News today is Opinion Outpost. This is going to be like the seventh time I've worked with Opinion Outpost. So Opinion Outpost is a website where you can go and you do surveys. And in return for these free surveys and giving your opinion, you get points. With enough points, you can then buy Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and a bunch of gift cards, which some of them you can change into Riot Points. But it is 100% free, it is 100% legit as well. You don't need to give them like your phone number or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't take money off your phone number. So practically the idea is companies come out with new inventions and they need people's opinion. Like a beta test, right? It might be Sony coming out with a new waffle maker and they're like, what does, what's wrong with this? And you're like, well, Sony, why is the waffle maker rainbow color? That's stupid, I'm not gonna buy it. So stuff like that, 100% legit. As I said, a bunch of YouTubers sponsored them. I've sponsored them seven times. Go check it out, link at the top of the description. Get some free RP, baby. But as we continue to talk about skins, if you remember the World Breaker skins, four new World Breaker skins for Nautilus, Nasus, Trundle, and Hecarim. Big dudes, big skins, they look awesome, they look like colossal titans, you know? And uh, I did a video on all four of them in one video, so you can go check it out. They're only 750 RP skins, but the splash arts are released here. And as you can see, the splash arts look so fucking cool. I'll link them below so you can download them, download them and wallpaper them if you want. Speaking of that, I saw a few pimps in the comments section yesterday using Bro Fresco, like my pink profile icon on YouTube as a background and it's just horrible quality and looks terrible but I thought it was absolutely hilarious so shouts out to the two pims who uh, put Brofresco as their wallpaper I might make a Brofresco wallpaper it'll be something stupid but I know you'll love it and speaking about skins and cheap stuff and buying stuff, there's early sales. There is this webpage, right, made called early sales. And it has a list of like 30 different skins and when they are going to go on sale. And from what I can tell, it's between December 3rd to December 7th. But go check out the website. It tells you a bunch of stuff about sales. And it literally has a list of 30 skins that will be on sale in December. So you can go check that out in case you are, you know, you're a little bit tight on money and you're saving up your RP. And maybe you're just being smart about spending. You know, maybe you just want to be smart about sending and get it in a sale there's a whole web page go check it out in your own time there is October sales and October bundles bro 50% off some of these bundles in this oh my god there's there's like three bundle four bundles four bundles there's too many skins for me to even name so go look at these bundles a bunch of champs and a bunch of skins which you can get at discounted prices for October and like I said in October man um the Halloween skins on sale get that headmistress Fiora bro but thank you so much for watching this video, pimps and players. Thank you so much to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring me again. I don't know why you keep doing it. I mean, who would, who would sponsor this like multiple times? Like, who would give this money a lot of times? It, it just doesn't make sense. Me? So thank you. Thank you to pimps most, uh, most of all, though, because obviously without you watching the videos, leaving the like, supporting me, I wouldn't be able to make these sponsors. But yeah, all I'm trying to say is thank you so much because this month has been a great month for sponsors. Like, a great month for sponsors, a great month for my community that has stayed with me even when I've been, like, kind of dropped out of the algorithm and views were dropping a bit, but then the pimps, like, came back and you kept supporting me and you, you just kicked it around and everything's just... Great, and that that kind of two weeks where I was really just struggling, the channel was really struggling. It really made me have a better outlook on life. And now that things are starting to go back up again, obviously with the preseason being so much content, so much good stuff for the channel, you know, it, it really gave me a, a, an appreciation for what I have, which is why I'm saying thank you so often now. Because when it started to go downhill, it was like holy shit! Like I I, I don't want to lose everything, you know, I don't want to lose this. It is, and when the views started coming back up, it just shows you how amazing it is and how amazing it feels so you know thank you so much peace peace on the streets hope you enjoyed this episode of the lol news as i as i tried to say not too many times during the video i have done videos on like everything all the reworks all the pbe shit so you know go and check them out on the channel if you'd like if not you know it's cool with me just bring it in and that's all i can ask for man peace peace on the streets i'll see you pimps tomorrow for another video alistar rework i know it's coming it's coming tomorrow and kazix and fitz and akali and the new skins and the new and the new